So, what's going on, my friends? I'm Daily Fix, and yes, Fallen Republic, it has been released. We're going live, it's, it's released yesterday, and if you're watching this in the future on YouTube, because it, it will get there, it will get there, no worries. Um, it's going to be probably out for a few days now, and we're going to have some fun. Um, as always, I'm here live, and I got some people in here, like Wenag, uh, Julius Vendel, Genesis King... If you haven't checked out Genesis yet, um, and you're watching this on YouTube, go to my main page, there's a link to Genesis King, and he is actually playing as the Rebellion, and there's sort of an unwritten rule, uh, if he's playing something, I'm, I'm not doing it, because uh, I don't want to be in his way, uh, it's, it's simple as that, it's simple as that. So I was just telling them that I was extremely salty, <laughs> I was so salty. Yeah, because he, he sent me a message like a week ago. He's like, got an early copy for uh, Fallen Republic. And then, how about you? Yeah. Well, not. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't. Where you got so, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, he was sent. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Wenek, for correcting me. I really enjoy that. <laughs> Okay, let's get started guys. So unfortunately, let me check if my audio is on. There, there's a problem. There is a problem. There is a massive problem because the music and I've checked it out. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not, it's very much copyrighted and it's a shame because I was actually hoping to uh, showcase that to you lads. Well, it's not possible. It's not uh, not happening. So yeah, I I was just uh, I was extremely salty, so salty. I'm going to repeat that a few more times. I'm so salty. Uh, but I've been watching his videos and it's been really cool. It's been really cool. He is doing an amazing job. I I don't want to spoil it, but he got us in a war. He's being overwhelmed, and he's he's pulling it off. He's pulling it off. So yeah, amen to him, man. Uh, PJ Salt. I know, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Ah, let's, let's get everything hooked up the way I like it. There we go. Uh, that's not how I like it. Dead up there. Oh, well. Here we go. Yeah, that's when you do things live, right? It, it, everything goes wrong. So here we go. The Galactic Empire. I'm the Empire. We all know it. We, uh, we've seen the films. It's been absolutely brilliant. And uh, here we are. We are an Imperial Ruling Council. We are a dictatorship with a new order, which gives us more monthly influence at 0.5 and administrative capacity plus 30. Uh, we'll definitely have to keep on track on that. We want to make sure that we keep uh, the admin cap, although we, we could slightly go over there, but ah, then well, we see when we get there. We got the Clone Wars Victor. So this is right after uh, most of the Jedi's didn't make it. You know, spoiler alert, so if, if you didn't see any of the Star Wars films, like in 1987 ish, damn, I should. Anyways, um, <laughs> you're the younglings. <laughs> I was actually quite sad about that part, though. Yes. Anyways, um, diplomatic weight from the fleet power plus 20% at moral level capacity plus one, and we got the fleet command limit plus 30, which is always good. We are Auditarian, so more monthly influence, so we're making just plus one right now, so we can actually start claiming. But I'm actually thinking about getting into the subjugation causes belly, and see if we can do it. Because we can actually, we get a really good start early on. Um, we are militarist, well this is just, you know, the basic stuff. Growth speed, I'm not a huge fan of growth speed. Um, claiming influence costs negative 10, that's actually quite good. Hmm, conformist, oh well. So, let's select these guys. And we have, um, strong start maybe an understatement. Yeah, it's it's an incredible strong start, actually. That's why we're going to mix it. We're playing on Grand Admiral, and I'm hoping that they will kill me. <laughs> That's basically it. Um, I'm always hoping that the game makes it really difficult. Uh, there's no scaling difficulties, so... 
People that are overwhelming are going to be overwhelmed for a while, although I don't think anyone's going to be overwhelming. Uh, AI aggressiveness or normal, I feel that if we go on high, um, it, the AI will just attack without thinking, and that, that makes them idiots. Uh, Iron Man is on, but not eligible for achievements. Um, so I might as well just turn it off so we can actually sometimes save. I've seen the game freeze a few times, and it is so annoying. I wonder what you'll have the camera go one of the commanders. We'll definitely check that out. Let's go. So I love these backgrounds, you know, the the the, the lore stuff we we got. I I I I know Genesis was just giving names of these things, and I'm like, it's a spaceship. Yes, that's what it is. It flies in space. Ah, but I like these overviews. There's some more of your, your blueprints. And that is so nice. That really is cool. Let me lower this window over here for a second. You got nice weather over there. Hey, look at that. Yeah, just preparing game. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's the same temperature over here. Imagine the room uh, with, a, with a massive computer on. It's all wet and stuff. Well, hallelujah, guys. Hallelujah, we got there. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We've actually managed. Look at that. So, uh, this for Genesis, he's going to be paying extra attention here because. Uh... <laughs> Guest stream's over now. <laughs> So here we go. So the galactic... Okay, before I warning, guys, I'm dyslectic, and my reading is just like that of an infant. The galactic empire is a humanocentric authoritarian regi regime ruled by the galactic emperor Palpatine, who was the former supreme chancellor of the galactic republic before it was reformed following the end of the Clone Wars and the destruction of the Jedi Order. Like the Old Republic, the Emperor's capital is the capital is the Queen of the Core, uh, Corus, Oh my God, I, I I know the name. I know it's Corsant or something like that, but I just can't pronounce it when I'm reading stuff. And thanks to the war, now controls to the major the majority of the Galactic Core along the Loyalists. Holding distributed thoughts, and that is br brilliant. Let's begin. So we'll start with a fractured empire. Uh, there will be no large alliance from the start of the game. I think that's just fair, you know. Look at these fleets. 11.6, 11.6, 11.6. So that's not. Also, I love that. I love that voice. So I don't want... 70% habitability. I'll probably go like 750 and here we go, we finally entered the game. Now, before we do anything else, we'll let the game run for one day. There we go. Just uh, so you see all of your trade lights and all of that stuff. So let's take a look. We actually got a massive portion of this uh, of the territory over there. And there is a bunch of factions around us. Of course, some of those which we cannot see. We have the first fleet over there, the first fleet over there, and the second fleet in this region. Uh, there's the Trade Federation, interesting. So already they are pathetic. And I like that, because as long as they're pathetic, uh, that means that we are superior. So if we go into, like, Unity, we perhaps, let's take a look over this. Uh, where is the... Max rivals by two, that's interesting. We want to look for the... Uh, damn, what's it called again? Like the subjugation stuff. Monthly influence plus one. We're already making five. 30% uh, research speed, interesting. So they definitely changed a few things. A subject trust cap. Uh, every vessel increases naval cap. Um, bleeding them dry. Interesting. Let's read all of that stuff. So, the Moth Council traditions will mean technology is shared between us and of our subjects. Glory. Uh, ship building cost, expansion, maybe. No. Okay, so where, where's the subjugation stuff? Ah, that's a, that's a bit of a shame. 
Maybe we already have it. Let's take a look at... It's been a while since I've played, so I'm a bit rusty. Oh, yo, you think you're starting with it? It's probably in policies then. Expansionist. Outpost building cost. Colony development speed. Mm, okay. Orbital bombardment. Resettlement allowed. Droid worker, citizens, slavery, all of that good stuff. Let's see. We'll take a look. Um, demand vassalization. Apparently, here we go. So, we need the domination, um, the domination tray or the Moth Council traditions to be adapted. So, we need the Moth Council traditions. That's an easy way of finding it. So, we're going for this one. And apparently, this will give you the vesselization excuses so i think yeah we'll, we'll definitely get, get this one first then and just get it done because i feel like if we're playing the empire we want vessels we, we want a, a good amount of them and as, as many as possible and i'll try not to destroy the republic but yeah let's take this is a dictatorship uh we can actually do we want to build up with these guys? So they're pathetic, of course, but still. Uh, we will improve relations then. Here we go, accept that. And there's another one. And that one's over here. Let us improve. He's already coral. He is increasing with us. Uh, but we'll do the same with you. Let's accept that. So let's get started on some sectors. Not too many of them, Corson. Uh, some buildings, so by the looks of it, we are needing laser cells, ordnance, and hyper matter. Now, if memory serves me correctly, I was not able to build hyper matter. Um, actually, that's not true. Here, here we go. What am I talking about? I'm talking out of my ass again. Let's get started on that. So that's done. And we'll go for. It's actually quite weird that Corson doesn't have anything in there. There we go. And we got five specialists without jobs. Um, turning minerals into consumer goods. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to look at what we want to do with these things. But I think we want to get started. We're making all of this into positives. So let's get over here. Let's make... Is this the one? Is that the ornaments? Yes. And we'll go for another one. Do we have the alloys for that? No, we do not. So we have to keep the game running for a tiny bit. Um, where can we get minerals these days? Mm. So definitely not over here. Not in there. So these are all having the same icon. So it, it's basically your... Uh, consumer goods for minerals. Okay, so no mining stations are built and stuff. So it's definitely you'll get your minerals from over this region. Now it looks like it looks like the mining stations have been built, except for a few. So maybe we'll have to trade for minerals. Not quite sure yet. Hmm, there are some alloys over there we would love to grab. And we'll have to start looking into uh, getting the stations up and running. Making sure we get defensive. Because, well, who knows who wants to attack us? Could be anyone. Let's take a look here. We got some scientists who are just horrible at their jobs. And some are semi-okay. Do we got something else? Can we recruit? Oh, damn, yeah. Let's get you going. We got plenty of uh, of energy, so that's going to be fine. And we also got you, who is crime negative twenty five. Not the best to get started. And here we go, guys. The Dark Sith Lord himself, the Dark Vader, and he's not in command of any of my ships or any of my fleets, which is interesting and weird. I would really think that he needs to be one of the admirals. So let's get back over to this. 
So the genius is over there. Spark of genius over there. Who else? Mm, okay, that's not going to help us any. But this... Actually, this is well enough. Let's get started. So the cold fusion reactor adds power by the looks of it. Uh, we've got the shield generator, shield gen and uh, research. Let's go for the research. Pop growth speed, monthly unity plus five. We're already making 196. Like, jeez. Correction, off. I guess. Uh, let's get started on... How's the food? Food is good. Growth speed, then. Orbital defense cannons. Or starship structures. Or more research. Let's go with the research. And uh, we'll start by unpausing the game. We're not going too fast. I don't like to go too fast. We definitely want to make sure that we get someone in here. Even though it's horrible. Let's just get him. Over there. So, first fleet. Man, you're going to be fired. Ship upgrade negative 50. That actually is not bad at all. Uh, since we're over, it's not going to be that expensive. Uh, we got some... Uh, who the hell are you? So you're the military dictatorship. Form a commercial pack and we'll form the research agreement as well. We're making more than enough. Uh, I think we want to go towards... Hmm. Towards this fella. So slowly heading over there. Or oh, the hot cartel. Oh, fighting the hot cartel would be so good. Absolutely good. Now we got three shipyards. We can actually make all of our ships. We'll have a look at the ships uh, very soon. Uh, but first things first, we want to make sure that we got our stations up and running. So you're over there. Let's zoom a bit in. There's so many systems, so many things going on. Let's see, where is you? So I want to get some defenses going on for sure. We have some alloys. So let's upgrade you. Let's keep the game running at, uh, at fast for now. We'll wait with colonization. Receiving communications. A non-aggression pack invitation as well as the research agreement. Uh, let's get rid of all of these messages. At least we're running the green numbers all aboard. All across. And let's take a look here. What do we want? Uh, so how do we gain minerals? We're not making them over here. Is there mining stations then? Okay, so we're making them over here. There definitely are a few. Let's go build the second system. And uh, let's pump you up when you actually have the numbers for it. Actually, you can do the same thing. Let's get started with that. Okay, so there is definitely more specialized plants. So these are the Igombrillas. That's actually something that I just noticed right now. It's also good. Adding trade value, that's quite nice. Yeah, thanks, mate. Two out of two envoys have been assigned, which is good. And uh, let's get the, uh, the Moth Council. So if we were to go... Now, I can't demand anything just yet, but I'm sure there's a few that are pathetic along everything. So, currently, they hostile attitude. So, we need to suck up to them, apparently. What if I were to declare war? Hmm. Ah, that's a bit of shame. So, we need to make sure that they become friendly. It's weird, right? It's so weird. Why do you need to be friendly to become a subject? Makes no damn sense. Ah, uh, we just have to claim, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll have a look. So, Vassal. Negative 2000. Isolationist. Uh, very wary in nature. Uh, I think we just have to demand it. And then we'll get the pop-up. We might as well just go try to do an early war. Declare rival. Requires the tribal relation. Rivalry. We actually need all of that. Damn. Form an alliance. 
Mm. The man tribute. Actually, I like tribute tests because they will still do their own thing. And we get the tributary. Uh, yeah, that's quite nice, actually. Who are you allied to? You're already having a causes battle against us, so. Gee, why not? Why the hell not? A demand tributaire. Let's confirm that. And he will deny that. Who did I do this from, actually? So, if we declare war right now, make a tributaire or a vessel. And so now you'll uh, get the cost bell. Yeah, there you go. You, it, it's it's something that just it, it, it's even install. It, it, it's it's with so differently with EU four. You EU four, you can just see what the hell is going on, right? So shall we tribute them or shall we vassalize them? Hmm. You, t you tell me, guys. You tell me. While we uh, take a look. Let's close uh, this one, not. A migration treaty proposal. I will accept that. Making negative four. We got that. Well, let's keep all of these. We got 600 minerals. Uh, we can't really build anything else. So we'll be jumping out more alloys. Uh, we're jumping out more research. Can't do that. We are lacking... Oh man, everything is getting soakily wet here. I'm, I'm really missing, the, you know, the, the game audio. Okay, let's go to war. Uh, we'll make them vessels. We have declared war to safeguard our interests. So let's move over there. And let's take a look at some of these ships. Governor, leader capacity, ruler, level cap, or vessels increase naval capacity. Let's start with that. And uh, let's go over here. Because we got a we got a nice looking fleet. We got a nice looking fleet. Oh dear lord, look at that. Oh damn, that is gorgeous. Oh sh that is really good. Wow. Love that. He's small as well. Do we have any more ships? Do we have other small ships? That we got a few. I think these are like our anti-aircraft uh, kind of ships. The early Corvette, the Believers. Oh, they're really shiny. It looks a lot better than the Rebel Fleet. A lot better. Let's go into ship design, guys. We'll go into ship design and we'll look at edicts in a second. Imperial Order. Stability plus 15. Fortifying the border, starbase capacity, and starbase upgrading speed plus 50%. Information quarantine. Um, Starfighter upgrades. Ooh, ooh, that is so powerful. Yes, they will cost more upkeep, but that is really cool. Empire Sprawl. Look at that Empire Sprawl, guys. It will be increased. Um, it's 500 usual. Oh, we can't build that. Yeah, it, it, once we can, we do it. <clears throat> Love that. Love that. Uh, fleet management we'll look into in a second. Let's go to ship design. And here we go. So the, uh, we got the early Corvettes. And this is, uh, I think, the one that we also have as the believer. Let us stop auto-generating. By the looks of it, we got laser cannons and point defense. So I think these are your early anti-fighters going on let's save that for now let's take a look what is this uh armor hit points plus one no uh we got ship weapon damage plus one and the armor hit points let's take that i think that's way more important than anything else let's save is there any basic structures that we can move change or do anything else with uh the early frigates so we've got turbo lasers here and what strikes me is uh, the amount of shield damage is absolutely horrible they all have a decreased amount of shield damage. Apart from these torpedoes. So let's let's get that on. Anything else? Hull architect. 
Uh, we can go... Oh, no, I want to go skirmish. So at least they stay a bit back, which is cool. Basic deflector, shield, supply, thrusters. We got the hyper drives. That is nice. Uh, we'll go with the, uh, the puck power core as well. And none of that. Let's save this. Let's take a look at the early cruisers. Once again, look at that. All, all of that shield damage. So, and um, here we go. So here is the iron cannons. Shield damage 162. That is bloody awesome. And we got some bombers in there. Uh, no, that's actually, that's TIE Fighter Squadron. I love these small ships so badly. Uh, can we change any of these? No. TIE Fighter Squadron is still the same. The Iron Cannon, so we definitely want a few of these. The Victory Mark II in there. Uh, we'll keep damage up. The more damage, the better. We don't really need the others. We got the early heavy escorts who are absolutely... Oh, man. I've seen these in the film, they're so good. Oh, definitely. All of that blazers. Can we change those to like point defense? We can't. Uh, you can flip the cruisers to an iron loadout. Really now. I uh, can't change this. Oh! Oh, wow, yeah, thanks. That is really good. That is really good. Let's take a look. So, is there any difference between the light turbo lasers as well as the dual light turbo laser one? It just sounds so much better. It has a whopping 0.01 more damage. The tracking is still 10. The accuracy stays. Uh, actually, the accuracy on this one is better. So, this one's going to be better against smaller ships. It's... Uh, it's don't really see the difference in this one. Yeah, the tracking is, is horrible. Look at that. Tracking negative 20. These things will never hit. Why would you build these? Tracking negative 10. Fine. Uh, we'll go for the tracking negative 10. And hopefully we'll get better weapons soon. Heavy turbo laser. Tracking negative 20. So these are all... Yeah, all negative in tracking. Tracking is going to be horrible. Well, probably... Can we fit something in here? No. Wow. It's, uh, it's... The accuracy is better. The tracking is the same. The cooldown is the same. So we'll go for the heavy turbo lasers. And we'll go for the torpedoes because of the shield damage. And we'll get some iron cannons in there. Just because we can. And we'll get some fire squads in there. It's going to be expensive as crap. Look at that. Really expensive. This dreadnought is almost ready for business. And the assault ship. I think. Look at this. Yeah, this is. So this is your anti. Your anti um, fighters. I really like those. Can we can we flip that? No. Basic structures the same. There's no changes in that. And and we got torpedoes on there. Yeah. What's the range? Oh damn! It's like fifteen. Mm, tracking plus 5, ship engagement plus 5, 50, chance to hit plus 5. Man, the tracking is really crap. Chance to hit, engagement, uh, weapon range. I'll go for artillery. I don't want these guys in close quarter combat. The speed is actually quite good. Like 5, 8, 1. So it's faster than the early dreadnought. Uh, not as fast as the others though. So, actually, these go a bit faster than those. So, the early assault ship, anti-ships. Anti I'll try to keep things going, like, in this Star Wars team and just get, like, ships like these because they're bloody brilliant. Oh, wow. Here is your carriers. That's some carriers, guys. We've got some turbo lasers on here. The range is 40. So, and the range is 60. In all honesty, I want this guy to stay as far away as possible. So, we'll put him on artillery. And the... These guys can fly a long distance. Let's see. Although it just says the ra their range. It's their range is 15. I would like to see what their overall range would have been. I think that would be quite good to know. Uh, can we change anything here? Dual turbulators. 
negative 10, negative 10, range 30, range is also 30. 